Hey, hey, NFA friends, it's time for Quote of the Week. I love, love, love this one. It's by Kenichi Man. He says, rowing harder doesn't help if your boat is headed in the wrong direction. I know that you've been there before. I know I've been there before where I've worked really, really hard. And then when I've gotten where I pushed hard to get to, I realized it wasn't where I wanted to go. <laughs> It sounds funny, but I know you've probably been there too. Have you ever just worked and pushed and, you know, feel like you're you're constantly showing up for the game, but then you're going in the wrong direction, which means when you get there, it's not fulfilling, you don't feel clear about it, and you feel stuck. And it doesn't have to be this way. So something that I advocate for with my clients and the people I get to work with is for them to, in late November and early December, start to get ultimate clarity on what they want to create in the upcoming year. This is your time to be self-reflective and start to look back retrospectively at your year and go, hey, what worked? What do I want to add because it's working and I'm rowing in the right direction? What do I want to drop because it's not working and I'm rowing in the wrong direction? You'll know that you're rowing in the wrong direction when you feel like things are really challenging. It takes way more effort than it should. Things aren't flowing. You're feeling stuck. This is all part of what I talk about in competing commitments. When you're saying you want something but you're not able to manifest it, it's because you have competing commitments. Part of a competing commitment would be a lack of clarity. If your boat's going in the wrong direction, it's because you're not really clear on where you want to go, which means you probably haven't taken enough time to be self-reflective and get conscious and curious and aware about what you really actually want. Manifestation takes you having clarity about what you want to create. Otherwise, you're sending out confused signals to the universe and the universe doesn't know how to help you fulfill it. So you've got to get ultimate clarity so that when you get in that boat to row in the direction, you know the direction direction you want to go in. I know it sounds really simple, but a lot of people don't take the time to assess. We just get going on what I call the treadmill of BS. And, and this would be like rowing in the wrong direction. And then you get there and you're like, I don't know why I pushed so hard to get here because this isn't really where I wanted to go. And now I'm burnt out because I rowed really hard or I was on the treadmill of BS getting nowhere, having that burnout cycle. So we don't want 2021 to be like this for you. We want 2021 to be filled with joy, abundance, flow, magnetism, so you can manifest what you want. So get clear today. Take a couple minutes. Look at what you need to drop, add, or delegate for 2021 because it's not getting you in the direction you want to go if you're doing it all yourself. Things to drop would be things that make you feel miserable, things that aren't bringing you an ROI, things that you have kind of this awareness where you go, I've been doing this thing because other people have been telling me that it's the right thing to do, but it's not really yielding any results. That's something to drop. That means it's not in alignment with your zone of genius. And when you're in your zone of genius, you're clear, you're in flow, you're faithful, your effort feels effortless, and it doesn't feel like hard work. When you would get in that boat to row, you would row exactly where you want to go. So that's how you know when you're in your zone of genius, and that's the things you know you want to add more of so that you're rowing in the right direction. So remember, just take some time today. Get some clarity around where you want to go why you want to go there, and is it working what you're doing. In anything that's not, drop it. You can automate it. Systems are really important. That's a conversation for another day. Or you can delegate it. I can bring that to the table another day too. But just remember, drop, automate, or delegate if you're in the boat feeling like you're rowing, rowing in the wrong direction. And the first step is to get clarity about where you actually want to go. All right, I'll be back next week with another quote just for you. I hope you have a fabulous, thriving, incredible week where you're rowing effortlessly in the exact direction you want to go. NFA high fives.